Lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. Got a little signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Bonjour, people. What can I say? Oh, wow, <laughs> We're wow. Back. We're back oh, good, yeah. <laughs> We're back. So, <laughs> we're excited. We're excited about being back, aren't we? <laughs> it means a lot. It's, it's just right. Anyway, um, I picked up the van today. That's all sorted out. On the way back, I did stop at another little in Sittingbourne. Still didn't get it. Really. So I couldn't get the 10 oh, beers. God. I did try. My daughter went on the Friday or the Thursday, so as a lot of you know, to our local one in Gillingham, well, the nearest one to here, and um, they were already sold out. So that one's out of the way. So at the airport, because we knew we weren't going to get them, we thought we'd try the Lithuanian one, which is obviously modelled on Oktoberfest with it yeah. being a Marzen. This this brand, a lot of you will know this one. This one's been sat on my fridge for a while. I've actually got. I had to get two more bottles of this, which I'll do to get that because it was in a four pack at the airport. And I wanted the wheat beer as well. I didn't, I didn't want to pack a wheat beer, but it's a long story. I can <laughs> carry a thing. But this one was sat in my fridge for about six months. I thought it was Polish. Sorry, anyone from Lithuania that listens to this. It is I'm, Polish. Yeah, I know. I'm, 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 I'm educated more through my four days with my friends. So this is Sciatories. I would, I would put it up to the camera and let people take their own guess at this because yeah. I don't have a clue how to anyway. pronounce it. It's a Marzen, and it's like pretty much, I say, their version of Oktoberfest. It's the oldest brewery from 1784, as it says on there, from Lithuania, that are pretty much freely around the world. You know, they put mm. Lithuania on the map. I've had that beer myself, as a lot of you will have as well. Let's be honest, that's not the greatest beer in the book, but... We're hoping for a little bit more from this. Hoping a little bit more of this, and I have got... I won't bother bringing it over, because I always have showed you on the camera, or I'll fall over the dog that's there so yeah um i'm just looking have you got a bottle opener there because i better not I use my teeth weird thing. oh god right give that a try you're an expert t nike's doing that whoa, whoa that's some aggression. That works. <laughs> there's some aggression <laughs> and it does have an interesting bottle top there you are right up to the camera i say um 5.8 percent ABV, isn't it? It is, and yeah. It, I don't know. We've never had it before. I don't know anything about it. Um, can I say I'll get it poured, take a picture, and we'll give it a one. See how we go. I say we will be doing basically a Lithuanian beer. We've got another five as well as the bottle of that, which we'll face off with Sam McGill or something, because yeah. there's a Pilsner. Oh, I was going to do this with Hacker the Cracker because... Look at the colour of that. It is a really lovely dark amber colour. Ooh. I told you this would be you. Look at that, people. Look at that. Look at the colour on that. And then losing the hacker glass, I so almost, didn't I, did it versus hacker because of the reason that... Um, Let you take your picture. Yeah, let's get it out of the way. We got it. Oh. Right, that's it, that'll do. One of them will work. Yeah. Is that real deep, deep amber, isn't it? It is. It has almost got a kind of reddy colour to it. Oh, God. Um, you know what I'm like with these dark Oktoberfest beers? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I Let's... carried them all the way through as well. You did, yeah. You know, I was carrying Michelle's bag around for her to have two bags of beer. I do have some from Guinea's to do as well. I have a sour. I have the strawberry milkshake. A lot of you will have seen us drinking in there. That does smell very, very good. Yeah. What I'm picking up is a nice uh, toasted malt. There's some fruit in there. I would say something um, 
Dried fruits. Yeah, dried fruits. That's something I'm picking up, and maybe a little bit of raisin or something like that. There is a hint of caramel there. More toffee, I'd say, but... <laughs> you always like to disagree with me, don't you? There's no bubble gum. No, definitely not. But no, as I say, um, it is what is it? obviously moderate carbonation there. Um, it is going up. It's hard to see. It's looking good. Right, right okay, go let's then. go. Go on then, go on then. Lithuania's finest. Look at me here, look. They keep this on. That is nice. That is. Ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. I'm, I'm liking that. You are really picking up on those notes of dried fruit. There's um, very, plum, raisin. Yeah, plum. Can yeah, go along with that. Um, there was a ooh. lot. And, but it's got a real nice kick to the end of it, a, a, a hint of bitterness. There's a little bit of toastiness in there as well, a almost bready kind of taste. Yeah, it's, it's, I get what you're saying. It's got the, the obviously like with a lot of the Oktoberfest, you've got your, your bready malt backbone, but it mm. is carrying through with the fruit. But there is a sweetness there. The uh, caramel aroma I was picking up on, there's definitely a little bit of something sweeter in there as well. I'm probably hedging my bets on it being a caramel kind of taste and it does it does leave a nice it is pleasant. there is a there is a slight bit in this but that's got more go to it than hacker that is what that little bit of um business on the end is doing for me is really balancing it off because some of the other flavors in there are quite sweet it could end up just being a bit too sweet but with that uh, bitterness it's balanced out quite nicely it's, it's like, lovely and smooth as well but yeah raisin i don't know Current, um, what else is like raisin? Figs, figs, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, what's the other one that I don't like? It's like raisin, sultanas, sultanas. Mm. It's that sort of, yeah, I don't, I don't eat a lot of raisins and sultanas, that type of thing, because I don't like the consistency or the feel of them in my mouth. But the actual taste, when you get that in a beer, especially if it's one that's a little bit punchy and heavier on alcohol, can really give you a nice fruity flavour that offsets the, the, the deeper, more heavier flavour that you get there. It's, yeah, it's, it's what you're basically saying, it's, it's counteracting yeah. itself. And it is, and that's a good thing. This is actually, um, you, as a lot of you know me, obviously by now, um, been, we've been here for a while. Um, I'm not that great with a lot of dark beers, but some of them I do take a shine to. Now that it's got a, it's got a nice creaminess as well hasn't it so it's flowing down it's quite a slight, yeah it's a slight cream and it's not like if you're having a weizen beer i mean i always say with these they can border on the weizen dunkels mm. because they have that creaminess as michelle that is saying just what i was about to say but they have that I don't, yeah like, not that yeah that toast that roasted yeah that roasted kind so, of some dun uh, dunkels can be a little bit too bitter for me this it one is be, um, this one is balanced out quite nicely. It has to be a wise and dunk hill. Yeah. We don't like the, well even you don't like the Some of them I don't. They now. can be a little bit too bitter for me. Some of them are just like, oh but that it's got it's got a bit of everything. It's actually really nice. It I'm is, quite surprised. It is I, I didn't you. hold out a lot of hope for it to be honest. But um yeah, the flavours that are in there are all working well together. Yeah, we didn't see it. We didn't look in a lot of shops while we we're there, because I just get Moody, because I chose not to pay for a suitcase, because we just didn't know what to he expect. We wanted to bring some home with him, but we only had little hands. So I refused, bags, buying so. Lidl, to go in any of the bottle shops, didn't I? Because I mm. said to you, it's just going to do already. And then we end up buying loads, because I'm an idiot, and pick them up. And then I've got to sit in the hotel room and drink them. And we got to the stage when Michelle had to drink the last beer at McDonald's. Yeah, I was <laughs> not leaving that beer behind. Yeah, and it was classy as well. I didn't <laughs> it try it, it really I? was. It was very pleasant. You have to be yeah. careful, obviously, because we had a long day yesterday. It was a parallel, and I, I really thoroughly really enjoyed it. So there we go. Yeah, and the only way I could buy that was buying in this four pack with two of these in bottles and a wheat beer. Well, I wanted a wheat beer in a way. And then I brought, as I say, the five from Guineas, didn't I? Which we will do. Uh, one of them we've done mm -hmm. already in with um, an Audi one, a little, a little one, didn't we? Yeah. Right. Okay. So you've got your car. Yeah. There. I have somewhere. Okay. Oh, I'm all set. I'm giving this a rate, my beer of eight. I like that. Would I drink it again? Yes, definitely. I'm going on a seven. I'm pretty much 
into it as well. Probably not as much as Michelle. This is more of my kind of style of beer, the sort of I, thing that I would enjoy drinking. I think I'll enjoy the Wiser more from the same company here. As I say, we do have the lagers, mm. which we'll look at. The it's going to be interesting to try as well. Well, yeah, well, we had to buy the Pilsners, as I said, to get that. So to get that, I had to buy a four box, didn't I? That actually, mm. what was it they said? What was a ping we picked off the box before we go here? That was the four box they came in, you see. At the airport, so I had to have two of the Pilsners, the Fison and the Fest beer, or the Marzen. High quality raw materials. This is being translated <laughs> oh, to English. This is funny, yeah. Unexpected ingredients, <laughs> unique flavours, and brewing experiments, as you can see there. Which gave us a bit of a giggle. Yeah, so that gave us a laugh. Unexpected ingredients were, but whatever they are, they taste quite yeah. nice. <laughs> um, it takes time before traditions become traditions. This collection consists not only of our finest beer that our brewers have brewed throughout the years. It consists of beer that has gained respect of the Lithuanian people for both its taste and quality. Mm. So there you go. Well, it's so far so good because, yeah, this one has been very pleasant. Yeah, yeah, no. As I say, it was either get the four Weizen cans or get it in a bottle, and we kind of prefer bottles to cans. So that kind of worked mm. for both of us as well, didn't it? It's it. So far so good from Lithuania, can we say? Mm. Right, mm. thanks for watching, people. Um, if you're watching this, and you haven't watched us before, do go back, check some of the Lithuanian videos. They're There's really interesting. There's some really interesting stuff there. Some of them are a bit... Oh, well, <laughs> most of them are all right. Right. Bonjour. Thanks for watching.